Good evening, Sally. Good okay. evening, how are you? Okay, can you hear me? Sally, can you hear me, Sally? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, so I will share to you now, Sally, this topic pre-intermediate unit 6C. Okay. Uh, Okay, so describe the photo. Look at this. Please describe this photo. The photo. Is, this photo is taking it. The people, the people is on a plane. Okay, where are the people? They are on the plane. And what are they doing? The passenger is 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 getting food. Okay. What do you think they're saying? The the passenger say thank you. The passenger say thank you. What do you think they're saying? They will say thank you because thank you for the lunch. Or something. Okay. Okay. So we have here flight attendant. Okay. It's a person whose job is to serve and take care of the passengers on an aircraft. Okay. Another is help somebody in doing something. It means contact to communicate with somebody. Okay. For example, by phone, by letter, or by email. Travel agent, it means a person or business whose job is to make arrangement for people wanting to travel. Buy tickets or arrange hotel rooms. These are travel agents. Okay, another okay. destination. A place to which somebody, something is going or being sent. Gypsy in 2024. Departure. Sympathetic. It's a kind to somebody who is hurt or sad, showing that you understand and care about their problems. Apologize to say that you are sorry for doing something wrong or causing a problem. Okay, so these are destination, departure, sympathetic, apologize. Okay, so look at this one. Listen to the sentences, Sally, describing the photo, which are words, which words are stress. Okay, so example. The flight attendant is wearing blue top. So the stress word is red because it's not blue, it's red top. So you are going to underline the red top, okay? Please listen, Sally. Lesson 6C. Exercise 3. 1. The flight attendant is wearing a blue top. No, she's wearing a red top. 2. She's handing a meal to the man. No, she's handing a meal to the woman. 3. The man next to the flight attendant is wearing a white jacket. No, he's wearing a white shirt. 4. The woman on the right is wearing a t-shirt. No, she's wearing a shirt. 5. The food is in a cardboard box. No, it's on a tray. 6. 
we can see a woman in glasses in front of the man in the white shirt. No, we can see a woman in glasses behind the man in the white shirt. Finish, teacher. Okay, so number one, uh, number one answer is. Sorry, sorry, huh? The flight attendant is wearing blue top. She's wearing red top. She's handing a meal to the man. Now she's handing a meal to the woman. Okay. The next one next to the flight attendant is wearing white jacket. No, he is wearing white shirt. The woman on the right is wearing a t-shirt. No, she's wearing a Shirt and the food is in the card box. What is the answer? It is not in the card void box, but it's, it's on, on a tray. tray. Yeah. Very good. We can see a woman in a glasses in front uh in, in front of the man in the white shirt. No, we can see a woman behind the man in the white shirt. Behind the man in the white. Shirt. Next one, okay. So we have here, you read and listen to the dialogue, when, where, and how did Lydia go on holiday in the summer? Okay, when, where, and how did Lydia go on holiday in the summer okay lesson 6c exercises 4 and 5 did you go to spain in july no we went to portugal and we went in august where did you fly to we drove there actually she go to Portugal in August. She, okay. she, she go go there by car. Okay. So did you go to Spain in July? No, we went to Portugal and we went in August. Where did you fly to? We drove there actually. Okay. So here, you listen to the sentences, pay attention to the words that I stress. Circle the sentence in each pair, A or B, which the speaker is replying to. Okay. Lesson 6C, exercise 6. 1. No, he flew to Italy last summer. No, he flew to Italy last summer. Two. I'd like a black coffee, please. I'd like a black coffee, please. Three. No, we're meeting at 3.50. No, we're meeting at 3.50. Four. I haven't got a credit card. I haven't got a credit card. Five. I'll have a ham sandwich, please. I'll have a ham sandwich, please. Six. No, I'll be on the 215 train. No, I'll be on the 215 train.
Lesson 6C. Exercise 6. 1. No, he flew to Italy last summer. No, he flew to Italy last summer. 2. I'd like a black coffee, please. I'd like a black coffee, please. 3. No, we're meeting at 3.50. No, we're meeting at 3.50. 4. I haven't got a credit card. I haven't got a credit card. 5. I'll have a ham sandwich, please. I'll have a ham sandwich. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's continue, Sally. Sorry, Sally, the internet is so slow. Okay, so answer, Sally, your answer, number one. Is it letter A? Sally? No, it's letter B. Okay, I'd like a black coffee, It's please. letter B. E, okay, correct. Now we're meeting at 3.50. Letter A is the answer. And four, I haven't yes. got a credit card. You can buy the tickets by credit card. I'll have a ham sandwich, please. What kind of sandwich would you like? No, I'll be on 215 train. Will you be on 215 bus? Okay, so the one highlighted in blue are the answers. Okay, so look at this, Sally, in task five. You look at the photos. Which place would you prefer to go for a holiday and why? Okay, so we have two places here near the beach, and I guess this is a hotel. I would like to go Temple. to the beach. I would like to go to the beach. Oh, you want to go to the beach? Why do you like to go to the beach? To go to the beach. Because the beach it's very beautiful and romantic. Okay, so you want. I will be happy too. Okay, you want and the beach because it's very beautiful. Yes. Okay. So aside from the beach is beautiful, why do you like to stay there rather than staying in the hotel? Because, because I I would like to stay in the hotel. I I wonder what the hotel will be like. Okay. So, listen to the true story about a holiday that went wrong. What was the misunderstanding between Georgina and the travel 
agent. Again, what was the understanding between Georgina and the travel agent? Okay, please listen. Okay. Lesson 6C, exercises 8 and 9. Georgina Hepworth finished her lunch and relaxed in her seat with a cup of tea. She was nearly two hours into the flight. She turned to the woman in the seat next to her and said, I'm really looking forward to my holiday in Spain. Oh, when are you going to Spain? I'm sorry. Spain, then? asked her fellow passenger. Well, now, of course, said Georgina. The woman gave her a puzzled look. Not on this plane, you're not, she replied. That's when Georgina found out that her plane wasn't heading for the historic city of Granada in Spain, but for the island of Grenada in the Caribbean. The Spanish city is 1,500 kilometres south of London. The island, on the other hand, is 7,000 kilometres away on the other side of the Atlantic. After her husband died earlier in the year, Georgina decided to go on holiday to Spain. She contacted a travel agent and booked the flight on the phone. When the tickets arrived in the post, she didn't notice that one letter was different in the name of the destination. It said Grenada, not Granada, but I didn't look very closely, Georgina later explained. She didn't spot the difference in spelling at the airport either. I noticed that the departure time and the arrival time were very different, she said, but I thought that was because of the time difference between Britain and Spain. When she realised her mistake, two hours into the flight, Georgina spoke to the flight attendant. I thought the plane was going to Spain, but it's going to the Caribbean, she said. The flight attendant was very sympathetic, allowed Georgina to sit in a first-class seat and gave her champagne. But the plane was over the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and heading west. There was nothing that Georgina could do but wait until the plane landed at its destination. When the plane finally arrived in the Caribbean, the airline put her in a hotel for the night and then on the following day flew her to Granada in Spain. The travel agent apologised to Georgina and gave her a free ticket for her next holiday. It was just a misunderstanding, said Georgina. I don't blame anyone. The travel agent just misheard me. I'm certainly not complaining. They've given me a free holiday in Austria. Let's hope they don't send me a ticket to Australia. Okay, so what was the misunderstanding between Georgina and the travel agent? Sally, you can write your answer in the chat box if you want, okay? Okay, I can say, please. Okay, okay, so what do you think? I see the misunderstanding, misunderstanding between Georgina and the travel agent. Georgina went went to Spain, but her tickets were, have a wrong letter, so she go to Caribbean.
basta talaga ang tawag nito. Basta-basta ang gawain ko ng mga lalaki. Panay. Bakit mo ginagawa ito? Wala na. Kasi yung asawa mo. Ha? Wala na po kasi yung asawa mo. Wala na. Wala na po na yung kasi yung asawa mo. Okay, so what is your answer? Sorry, Asali, because internet is so slow today. Okay, do you have the answer now? Sally? Okay, you want to let it, please. Okay, yes. Just tell me if you're okay, okay? The internet is so slow, Sally. And it's cold here because I am in my hometown. <laughs> okay, you said okay, Georgina traveled to Spain, but her ticket have it has, but her ticket has wrong letters. So the plane bring Georgina to Caribbean 
because she booked the ticket on the phone so she couldn't see well. Okay, so very good. Very good. Okay, so this one, look at this one. Here you have the lesson again. By the sentence as true or false. It's very easy, Sally. Lesson 6C. Okay. Exercises 8 and 9. Georgina Hepworth finished her lunch and relaxed in her seat with a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. She was nearly two hours into the flight. Mm -hmm. She turned to the woman in the seat next to her and said, I'm really looking forward to my holiday in Spain. Oh, when are you going to Spain then? asked her fellow passenger. Well, now, of course, said Georgina. The woman gave her a puzzled look. Not on this plane you're not, she replied. That's when Georgina found out that her plane wasn't heading for the historic city of Granada in Spain, but for the island of Grenada in the Caribbean. The Spanish city is 1,500 kilometers south of London. The island, on the other hand, is 7,000 kilometers away on the other side of the Atlantic. After her husband died earlier in the year, Georgina decided to go on holiday to Spain. She contacted a travel agent and booked the flight on the phone. When the tickets arrived in the post, she didn't notice that one letter was different in the name of the destination. It said Grenada, not Granada, but I didn't look very closely, Georgina later explained. She didn't spot the difference in spelling at the airport either. I noticed that the departure time and the arrival time were very different, she said, but I thought that was because of the time difference between Britain and Spain. When she realized her mistake two hours into the flight, Georgina spoke to the flight attendant. I thought the plane was going to Spain, but it's going to the Caribbean, she said. The flight attendant was very sympathetic, allowed Georgina to sit in a first-class seat and gave her champagne. But the plane was over the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and heading west. There was nothing that Georgina could do but wait until the plane landed at its destination. When the plane finally arrived in the Caribbean, the airline put her in a hotel for the night and then on the following day flew her to Granada in Spain. The travel agent apologized to Georgina and gave her a free ticket for her next holiday. It was just a misunderstanding, said Georgina. I don't blame anyone. The travel agent just misheard me. I'm certainly not complaining. They've given me a free holiday in Austria. Let's hope they don't send me a ticket to Australia. Thank you.
So we have here the woman next to Georgina was the first to mean. Okay. Sorry, Sally, Sally, the internet is so slow, Sally. Okay. Okay, so this one, Georgina booked the holiday by phone. What is your answer for this, Sally? Answer is letter T. She discovered her mistake not just after the plane took off. Okay. 
Ano ka dito? Baka sabihin ng mga tao, tumuyo na ka sa uso. Ayoko po sila mga kapatid. 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 Ayoko po sila mga